Oh my god, it is so, so bright. Although I do not mind the sun being in my eyes. It is very, very pretty. I don't recommend staring at the sun though, that's not a good idea. How are you? I hope things have been alright, I hope you've been good. Being an introvert. Thing is, I think about to like, past me when I was like a little kid, like literally like, a kid. I was so energetic, I ran around, I wasn't introverted at all, I was very extroverted. And I was, I went around and just had like a ball of energy and just talked to loads of people when I was a tiny little kid. And then I got to like a teenager and I started, that's when I started being really introverted, didn't really like talking to other people. I really enjoyed my alone time. And then I found that really good group of friends and I was comfortable around them, but I wasn't really comfortable around other people. I think about how introverted I was then compared to when I was a little kid and I'm just thinking like, how did I go from being so extroverted to introverted? And then I think to myself now in my present day, after being on self-improvement for nearly two years now, how I found a way to build my confidence and I'm looking back to now teenage me, I'm like, damn, you know you weren't doing too bad, you weren't doing too bad. And you end up learning a lot of stuff how to build your confidence. Stick to the end of the video because I will gonna go through and teach you the exact same thing that I learned. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. The first thing that you need to do, which basically helped me build my confidence is level up a skill. I think about it like with the skate park behind me, right? When I first started skating here, there was a guy who was here who had over 10 years of experience of skating and was amazing. Him, when he walked up to the skate park with 10 years of experience plus, and he got it down, he put down his board and he started skating, he was confident because he knew what he was capable of. I was there and I was embarrassed as hell being there because you'd have someone who just started compared to that. But now I'm at a point where now when even I walk up to the skate park, skate park, skate park, and it's been a month now, I'm confident. Not as confident as others, obviously, but I now can do stuff. So it's not embarrassing. I can confidently come up here and I'm like, you know what, I'm not the best, but I can know I can do stuff and I'm still learning. When you level up a certain skill to something to the point where you know you're capable, you start to become confident, especially when it comes to things like that skill. So for example, self-improvement. That's something I've been leveling up. It's been two years since I've been on self-improvement, leveling up, improving every aspect of my life, my physical health, mental health, financial health, to the point where I'm super confident because I know I'm capable of what I can do. It's the same thing, just find a skill that you can level up to the point where you know you're capable and you start to get confidence from this self-reassurance that you know that you can do a certain skill. The second thing is that you don't have to say something. When I was in like big groups of like people I weren't really comfortable with, it's not my usual friend group, it was new people. I felt like I always had to like, like a participate in the conversation, say something all the time just say something here, then there, make sure I'm saying something, and it was uncomfortable for me, because I didn't, that's not, I didn't really, that wasn't really my comfort zone, and I felt like that I had to always say something, but if you've got the guy who's yapping in a group all the time, always talking, never listening, you gotta think he's a dick, you don't have to say something all the time, it's okay to sit and listen, people like listeners, and when you say something occasionally, if you have a good group of friends, they will sit and listen to you, you don't have to be so so outwards and talkative in whilst you're in a friendship group you can take a moment relax listen and put in and put in your own voice when it's needed and people will listen to you the reason we kind of want to uh the reason we kind of want to keep talking because when we do get to these awkward silences maybe you're with one other person when you get to these awkward silences it's awkward you want to avoid the dry conversation but that's the difference between confident people. Confident people are okay with silence. I can happily go to a coffee shop by myself and just have a coffee, read a book, have some food, by myself, not talking to anyone. I mentioned this to a friend and he was like, what, you you go to a coffee shop by yourself with no one else? I'm like, yeah, what's wrong with that? To me, that just felt normal. So when you basically, in long, long story short, it's two things, level up a skill, to the point where you know that you're capable and you get this self-reassurance and confidence from it. And two, you don't always have to say something. It's okay to listen and say something when it's needed. If you're not subscribed to me, then there's a chance that you'll probably never find this channel again. But if you do after this or you're already subscribed, another video will pop in the corner. And if you like this video, you should 100% click on this because this could definitely help you out. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Yeah, I think we all do. Self-improvement kiss. Mwah.
Wow, it's fucking bright.